Test your knowledge, normalization. Now the following five questions relate to normalization as a part of the information systems and databases unit in the IPT course. So here are the five questions. Question one, define the term normalization. Question two, what are the aims of database normalization? Question three, what is data redundancy? Question four, why is data redundancy an issue? And question five, distinguish between primary and foreign keys. Now, I'm going to encourage you to pause the video at this point and answer these questions. And then at 45 seconds, I will begin answering these questions. Okay, so question one, define the term normalization. Now, database normalization is the process of converting a single database table, or basically what you would know as a flat file database, into multiple entities in order to reduce the duplication of data, which is data redundancy, and maintain consistency, integrity. So we're turning a flat file database into a relational database, and with a relational database, because we're referencing different entities, it means that the data is stored or the record is stored in one location, okay, which means it imp improves consistency if we want to update the actual database, and it reduces data redundancy because we don't have to enter in that same record into multiple database tables. Question two, what are the aims of database normalization? Basically, it is reducing data redundancy while also maintaining data integrity and consistency for the same reasons mentioned in the first question. Question three, what is data redundancy? Well, data redundancy is when the same data appears more than once in a database, because that means you have to enter it in more than once, and it means if you update it, you've got to update it more than once, okay? And you've got to then ensure that every time you update it, that it's consistent in the different locations, and as well as being a time-consuming process, it also takes up file size too, okay? So we don't want to have data redundancy, which leads into our next question, question four, why is data redundancy an issue? If the same data is entered into multiple areas of a database, okay, if an update occurs in each of these areas, the data would need to be updated separately in order to maintain consistency. It is better to link the data through relationships, that way it only needs to be entered once. So essentially it's entered into one entity, okay, and then linked to other entities, and it only needs to be updated in that one entity, and then through the links through relationships, it gets updated for all the other entities as well because we're working in that kind of ERD model, in that relational database model. Duplicate data is also a waste of file space. And then the final question, this obviously relates to relationships, distinguished between primary and foreign keys. So a primary key is the main identifier of an entity. It is usually a number that is unique to each record of a database. A foreign key is when a primary key is used in another entity to establish a relationship between two entities. So each and every entity in a relational database has a primary key, an identifier, and it's usually an ID of some sort, okay? But we use that ID in, as a foreign key, which is an attribute in another entity to establish a relationship between the two different entities. So we need both primary and foreign keys to use to establish this entity, and essentially it's the same attribute name, okay, for both the primary key and the foreign key in the different tables, just that it's when, it, when it's in the other um, entity in the foreign entity it's a foreign key and when it's in its own entity it's a primary key so I hope you got all these questions correct and it's useful for your revision of the information systems and database course